This lecture will focus on three important and key points for a research project. So far, we've looked at how to find information about a topic and how to use a framework to organise the information to help you focus on a specific area. And that's very useful because today we're going to talk about the aim, which is the target for your research, the objectives and the rationale. We'll start with the aim. So as I said, the aim is the precise target for your research. The acronym SMART can be quite useful when you're thinking about your aim and objectives. They must be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and timely. So your aim is exactly what you intend to achieve. You have to be precise. You need a precise goal. In the same way, if you're giving directions to someone and you want to arrive at the university, to simply say Birmingham or the city centre doesn't give enough detail to ensure that you arrive at the destination you're hoping for. So precision, exactly what is it that you're hoping to achieve? Make sure that you only have one aim. If you have more than one aim, you will have to do more research. So, for example, avoid words like and or also. These words indicate that you're doing one thing and a different thing as well. So that would create you additional work to achieve that. It should be clear when you've met the aim that you've set. So by having a precise aim, it can help you and your reader be clear when that has been achieved or if that has been achieved. Your aim should start with the word to, followed by a verb, such as to investigate, to establish, to explore. Clarity is very important. The aim needs to be clear to you as the researcher, but also to anyone reading your work. And it must be research focused. So a very precise statement in one sentence of what you're going to achieve. Moving on then, once we have a very clear, precise target for our research, we can break that down into smaller steps or objectives. Objectives are the steps that you will need to take in order to achieve your aim. Again, the acronym SMART is quite useful. So do bear each of these points in mind when you're writing your objectives. Other things you need to consider the objectives should be in a logical sequence. So the order that you will have to do the work to achieve your aim must be in a logical order. Each objective must contribute to the aim and must be research orientated. So each objective has to help you cover the aim. If there are any objectives that aren't necessary in order to achieve your aim, they shouldn't be included. There should be no part of the aim that isn't covered by an objective. If you miss off part of your aim, then you aren't going to achieve it. Objectives should not include methodology. You're saying what you will do in your objectives and not how you will do it. Objectives must be practical and achievable because remember they are what you have to do 
in order to achieve your aim. There is no point setting yourself something that's not achievable. Suggested you have four to eight objectives, probably four to six for this particular assignment. The first one or two objectives will relate to secondary research, reviewing what the literature says, understanding the terms involved. The last one or two objectives will be about your analysis and conclusions or recommendations for action. So there we have a number of pointers in terms of advice for writing your objectives, the steps that you will take in order to achieve your aim. However, without understanding the purpose, it is not quite so useful. So you need to have a reason for doing your research. Why are you spending time doing this research? Why have you chosen this aim for your research? The rationale is the reason for doing the research. So in order to justify doing the research, you have to identify either a problem or a need that your research can address. It might be to help make a decision or inform decision making. It might be to evaluate performance, for example, um, to evaluate the customer service in the cafe. It might be simply to advance human knowledge or to fill a gap in what the literature says. Perhaps you've identified something that isn't yet clear. Or alternatively, it might be to investigate or understand a problem or a theory. You may repeat research that somebody else has done, but in a slightly different context. If there's a reason for doing that, then that would be your rationale. You also need to say in your rationale who's going to benefit from reading the research and explain how they will benefit. So the rationale is why you need to do the research, who's going to benefit and how will they benefit. And then just as a reminder for you, within your rationale, make sure that you support what you say by using references. So you're providing evidence from the literature that backs up your rationale. So the key to successful research, a precise targeted aim, objectives that show the steps you will take to achieve your aim and a justification or rationale for doing the research.